In previous videos, you learned how to add a login screenlet with auto login support in your Android app. In this video, you'll learn how to add OAuth support. First, let's take a look at the app I'll be adding OAuth support to. It contains login screenlet, which is handled in the main activity. It also contains an auto login activity, which contains a simple text view. The auto login activity's code contains the logic that checks if a session exists and then loads save sessions from shared preferences. This is described in detail in the video on implementing auto login. Running the app in an emulator, you can see that there's not a saved session. In the following steps, I'll implement OAuth support in this app. To enable OAuth, you must first install the Liferay OAuth Provider plugin in your portal. Note that this plugin is only available to Liferay EE customers. You can get this plugin through the Liferay Marketplace. Here, I already have it, so I'll go ahead and install it. After installing the plugin, it's ready to configure in the Users section of the Control Panel. In the Control Panel, click Users and then OAuth Admin you must first create a new OAuth app here. Click Add and then fill in the form. Use your portal's address for the website URL and callback URI. Click Save when you're finished. Your new OAuth app then appears in the table. You can see that there aren't any authorizations yet. To register your Android app with your OAuth app, you need to get the OAuth app's consumer key and consumer secret values. Click the OAuth app's Actions View menu. These values are listed here. Now open the layout in the Android app that contains the login screenlet. In the screenlet, add the attributes App OAuth Consumer Secret and App OAuth Consumer Key. You can use Autocomplete in Android Studio to insert these attributes. Next, Copy and paste the consumer key and secret values from your OAuth app in the portal to the respective attribute values in your Android app. You also have to send the result to your login screenlet. To do this, define a field using the login screenlet instance in the activity and then use the send OAuth result method. Now launch the app in an emulator. You can see that the login screenlet has been replaced with an authorize button that redirects to the Liferay portal instance. Here, I'm already logged into the portal. If you're not, you're instead prompted to enter your credentials. After you do so, click the Grant Access button to authorize your Android app to use the OAuth app in the portal. Now return to your Android app in the emulator and click the Authorize button again. This time, you're taken directly to the app's content. If you close and relaunch the app, you can see that it opens without requiring further authorization. This is because the screenlet is using the stored OAuth token for authentication. Now return to OAuth Admin in your portal. You can see that the number of authorizations has increased by one. This authorization is your Android app. Nice work! Your Android app will now use the stored OAuth token instead of requiring you to manually log in each time you want to use the app.